Hi friends, you can download the ISO file from google.com. Okay, let's go to Google and search uh, CentOS 7 download or CentOS download. Then click on the download file, download link. It will go to the website. Then you here are some different different ISOs we have. So based on your architecture, you have to select architecture in the sense your server hardware. Okay, let's click on everything ISO or you can also take i386 or um, whatever the type of hardware you have. Based on that, you have to select that. Okay, go up and uh, you can click on the this one, the DVD live everything. You can click on mirrors. So here you have the entire media content like the different links for the mirrors. You can click on the any one of the link from any any one link you can download CentOS. Okay, let's click on the first link and here you have to select the media which is 4.2 GB in size. Okay. You can also download 8 GB if your internet allows because it has more languages and everything. So the 4.2 GB I am downloading here. Click on that. So it will download and we have to wait until that time. After that, so your CentOS is ready for the, the I. Let's see that how to install RHCL 7 or CentOS 7 operating system in your machine okay i'm using vmware workstation as as a in your windows machine you can also use virtualbox or vmware workstation to install the vm so first of all i'm just going to create a virtual machine okay so in this machine just i'm selecting typical and uh, i say i will install the operating system later and uh, i select the op option is that linux and uh, here you have to select what is the version you are going to install okay 7 and 64 bit only available in rcl 7 and centos 7 okay then you have to give the virtual machine name okay what is that virtual machine name i am going to give is that okay tech underscore ark80 is my virtual name machine name okay now you can also give something anything server name or some kind of stuff so okay the basic system is required for 20 gb okay you can also give what is the space but uh, i need little bit of space more than that okay i'm going ahead with the 40 gb space okay and here customize the hardware and delete this okay printer and sound card okay you don't need those actually then after that in the cd rom i saw image what you have to do that so you have after the downloaded message downloaded iso file you have to browse here and um, this is the full iso file which has 4 gb in size okay select that one and click close then click finish what happens it's going to create your virtual machine here then click on the power button to switch on the your machine okay here what you have to do is that you have to install CentOS 7 version here select you have to select if you do a test here what happens here is that it uh, test the media and the things okay and you can also do a troubleshooting here the troubleshooting will be helpful whenever your machine crashes or something happened to your machine now the mission is going to load with the ISO file okay so here you have to select the language okay what is the language you would like to use for your keyboard or the system okay so I'm going ahead with the US English okay and click continue after that you came to here so here also you can change the language support and the keyboard layout support if you want you can also change the date and okay so what is the date if you like to get it here so and click on done so the system date has been changed the installation media is local media 
maybe if you wanted to install use some kickstart installation or some from the remote installation also you can do it but as of now i'm not doing anything like that so i'm just going ahead with the installation of local media and select the software selections okay so the minimal installation is required for the uh, optimized operating system installation okay so for the basic things are if you are starting just now for the linux okay don't bother about the minimal installation or whatever it is okay just go ahead with the server gui option because first time if you directly go to the command line and see that's so okay you may be feared like oh i have to type all the commands something like that right so instead of that you can simply select server gui which will provide the gui uh, in things and for previous command support tables and the previous version commands supportable you have to select compatibility libraries here to support the previous commands okay what are the rsl6 versions or rsl5 few commands will work if you click here compatibility libraries or else if you type the if config command this does not work here okay if you you have to select this one so if you want any other options to select here you can select here in the installation itself kde or uh, anything if you want so here i don't want anything most of the things because later also we can install the same one okay maybe you can install uh, network utilities kind of stuff if you want click done then it will calculate how many packages going to be installed on your machine okay let it be then here the partition we have to do it installation the destination you have to select it and you have to do a partitioning if you want to do automatic configuration it will do automatically configure your system but you you have to configure yourself that you will get the confidence that what is the partition size you required i will configure it click on this i will configure the partitioning type and click done then it goes to the next screen that what is the options you would like to use for things okay you can use standard partitions or br btrfs or lvm or lvm3 provisions okay as of now standard partitions for the different uh, things may not be that good because later if you want to expand the partition size and it's little difficult to do that so lvm is the best option to do a resize later and click on plus sign then here what is the mount point you would like to see so i want slash first partition to be 15 gb okay add mount point and click one more times so and click select uh, boot the boot is 500 mb is more than enough for the boot file system and click and uh, add the swap partition swap partition is uh, what is your ram size into 2 okay so example say i have added 2 gb then the 4 gb here i have to add the remaining space you can add to the home home path okay so maybe here i'm just giving 10 gb in size or you can also give 10 g and mount point so my slash is 15 gb and swap partition is 4 gb and boot is 500 gb and home is 10 gb so if you want to create more partitions you can also create now or later also you can create it so only slash and boot are more than enough to create your linux machine but if you want additional things to be set up so you can set up here click done and it will ask you to it will say that destroy everything and format and install the operating system okay accept the changes then you can go to the network host and configure the manual ip address here okay switch on the machine here configure if you want to configure something like this okay configure and go to the ipv4 settings add and address is 192.168 that in my case this is the ip address so okay what is the ip address you have you have to add it and submit mask zero and the gateway address okay and the dns so internally i do not have any dns ip address that's why i'm just giving the global dns ip address here 
okay and here i do not have any local domains so i don't want to search anything on the local domain side so here you have to give your uh, server name so okay my server name is tech arkit dot local apply so your machine name has been applied click done so that your network has been configured installation destination is configured kdump if you want you can configure it by default it's enabled so you have network path you can just access that so when the kdump will we will be helpful whenever your system has crashed so that dump will be stored onto that network location to uh, analyze that what happens to your machine okay click begin installation then the packages will do all the stuff like creating the partitions and installing the part, uh, required packages in the meanwhile you have to set the root password okay the root password should be very strong or else it's a it's a very weak if you say weak password then you have to click done two times okay then you can also create the additional username which is required for your login make this user administration administrator what this mean in the sense this user will be added into the wheel group when if you want to if you would like to be an admin later point of time then you, you can do that yourself this password do not match okay done so the packages around 1200 has been selected this uh, this will take some time i will pass the video here and uh, resume again back It's performing forced installation setup tasks. After the installation is completed, post installation is doing the steps to complete the operating system. So it should be up. So it will ask you for reboot after the completion of installation so we have to click on reboot the machine will be rebooted and uh, come back with uh, after the reboot it will come back with the os let's see that so here is the step next we have to do that so license agreement we have to do so click on this and accept the license agreement and click on done so your license agreement has been accepted and finish the configuration now your system is going to be loaded then it will come with a name screen that the username and password credential screen okay so here is the screen so you can click on the username and provide the password you can log into the machine and after that it will ask you for some steps to do that like uh, the basic getting started guide so this is how you are exactly the first installation of your CentOS or Red Hat Linux 7 looks like okay this is the new one which is start using your machine this is the getting started guide which is going to be provided to you so here is the application menu so start menu and uh, places so like just like uh, your computer and uh, all the stuff here is the settings you have to system reboot and uh, log out login all the stuff and they can also change your ip address network settings here and time settings and calendar here that's about the installation thanks for watching stay tuned please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions, you can ask.